the infections that the sun soaks up from bogs, fens, and flats on Prosper Fall and make him by Inchmeal a disease. His spirits hear me, and yet I needs must curse, for they'll nor pinch me, frighten me with urchin shows, or pitch me in the mire, or lead me like a firebrand in the dark out of my way, unless he bid them. And for every trifle are they set upon me. Sometimes, like apes, that mow and chatter and after <laughs> bite me. And sometimes, like hedgehogs that lie tumbling in my barefoot way and mount their pricks at my footfall. Sometimes am I so wound with adders who with cloven tongues do hiss me into madness. Oh, oh, here comes a spirit of his and to torment me for bringing wood in too slowly. I'll lie flat, perchance he will not mind me. and fish-like smell. <laughs> a strange fish. Were I in England now as once I was and had with this fish painted, not a holiday fool there but would give a piece of silver. There would this monster make a man to any strange beast that makes a man. Well, they will not give a doit to relieve a lame beggar. They will lay a tend to see a dead Indian. Legs like a man, and his fins like arms. Ah! <laughs> I do not let loose my opinion, this is no fish. <laughs> but an islander that hath lately suffered by a thunderbolt. Oh! Alas, the storm has come again. <laughs> my best way is to creep under his gabardine. There is no other shelter hereabouts. <laughs> <laughs> Misery equates a man with strange bedfellows. <laughs> <laughs> I shall hear shroud till the dregs of the storm be passed. <laughs> It's a very scurvy tune to sing at a man's funeral. Well, here's my comfort. <laughs> the master, the swabber, the bosun, and I, the gunner and his mate, loved Ma, Meg, and Mary, and Marjorie, but none of us cared for Kate, <laughs> for she had a tongue with a tang would cry to a sailor, go hang. <laughs> she loved not the savor of tar nor of pitch, yet a tailor might scratch her where'er she did itch. <laughs> then to see boys 
and let her go hang. <laughs> this is a scurvy tune too. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my comfort. Do not torment me! <laughs> What's the matter? Have we devils here? Do you put tricks upon us with savages and men of Ind? Huh? I have not escaped drowning to be feared now of your de Four legs! <laughs> what hath been said is proper a man that there went on four legs cannot make him give ground, and it shall be said so again while Stefano breathes at nostrils. The spirit torments me! Oh! This is some monster of the isle with four legs who hath got, as I take it, an ague. <laughs> Where the devil should he learn our language? I will give him some relief, if it be but for that. If I can recover him, and keep him tame, and get to Naples with him, he's a present for any emperor that e'er trod on neat's leather. Do not torment me, pretty! I'll bring my wood home faster! He's in his fit now, and does not talk after the wisest. He shall taste of my bottle. If you have never drunk wine afore, it will go near to remove his fit. If I can recover him and keep him tame, I will not take too much for him. He shall pay for him that hath him, and that soundly. Thou hast done me but yet but little hurt. Thou wilt deny, and I know it by thy trembling. Press my works upon thee. C come on your ways, open your mouth. Here is that which will give language to you, uh, cat. <laughs> uh, open your mouth. This will shake your shaking, I can tell you, and that soundly. You cannot tell who's your friend. Open your chaps again. I should know that voice. <laughs> Four legs and two voices. A most delicate monster. His forward voice now is to speak well of his friend. His backward voice is to utter foul speeches and to detract. If all the wine in my bottle may recover him, I will help his ague. Come. <laughs> Amen. I will pour some in thy other mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Does thy other mouth call me? Mercy, mercy, this is a devil and no monster. I will leave him. I have no one spoon. Step it up! Now he's step it up! Touch me and speak to me, for I am Trinculo. You have a beard. I just friend Trinculo. <laughs> if thou be a Trinculo, come forth. <laughs> I'll pull thee by the lesser legs. <laughs> if any be Trinculo's legs, these are they. <laughs> <laughs> Thou art very Trinculo indeed! How camest thou to be the siege of this moon cap? Can he vent Trinculo's? I took and re-killed with a thunderstroke! But art thou not drowned, Stefano? I hope thou art not drowned! <laughs> Is the storm overblown? I hid me under the dead moon cap's gathering for fear of the storm. My stomach is not constant. Oh. <laughs> These be fine things. If they not be sprites, then that's a brave god. And bears celestial liquor. I will kneel to him. How didst thou escape 
how camest thou hither? Swear by this bottle how thou camest hither. Oh. I escaped upon a butt of sack which the sailors heaved or bored by this bottle, oh. which I made of the bark of a tree with mine own hand since I was cast ashore. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will swear upon that bottle to be thy true subject for the liquor is not earthly. Here, swear that how thou escapes. Swim ashore, man, like a duck. Ah, <laughs> I can swim like a duck, I'll be sworn. Here, kiss the book. Uh -huh. Though thou canst swim like a duck, thou art made like a goose. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano, hast any more of this? The whole butt, man. My cellar is on a rock by the seaside where my wine is hid. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 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 How now, moon calf? <laughs> How dost thine aid you? Hast thou not dropped from heaven? <laughs> Out of the moon, I do assure thee, I was the man in the moon when time was. <laughs> I have seen thee in her, and I do adore thee. My mistress showed me thee, and thy dog, and my bush. <laughs> Come, swear to that, kiss the book. What? I will furnish it anon with new contents. Swear. By this good light, this is a very shallow monster. I have feared of him, a very weak monster. The man in the moon, a most poor, Credulous monster, well drawn monster, ah. in Zeus. I will show thee every fertile inch of the island. I'll kiss thy shoe. Pray thee, be my god. <laughs> By this light, I'm a most drunk and perfidious monster. When God's asleep, he'll rob his bottle. <laughs> I will kiss thy foot. I'll be thy true subject! Uh -huh. Come, uh, swear to that. Uh, down. <laughs> and swear. I, I shall laugh myself to death of this puppy headed monster. A most scurvy monster. What? I could find in my heart to beat him. Oh. Ow. Come. Ow. Kiss. <laughs> Wait! It's an abominable monster. <laughs> I will show thee the best springs. I'll pluck thee berries. I'll fish for thee and get thee wood enough. <sighs> A plague upon the tyrant that I serve. I'll fetch no more sticks for him, but follow thee, thou wondrous man. A most ridiculous monster to make a wonder of a poor drunkard. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show thee the best springs, and with and take thee to where crabs grow, and with my long nails <laughs> dig the pig nuts. Show thee a jay's nest, and instruct thee on how to snare the nimble marmoset. <laughs> I'll take thee to clustering filberts and sometimes bring you young scammels from the rock. Wilt thou go with me? I prithee now, lead the way without any more talking. What? Uh. Trinculo, the king and all our company else being drowned, we <laughs> shall inherit here. Here. Bear my bottle. Oh. Fellow Trinculo will fill him by and by again. <laughs> <laughs> farewell, master! Farewell, farewell! A howling monster, a drunken monster! <laughs> <laughs> no more dams I'll make for fish, no fencing, firing at requiring! No scrape tentering, no wash a dish! Ben, Ben! Ben Caliban has a new master! Get a new man! Freedom, my day. Freedom, oh, my brave day. monster, Freedom. lead the way. <laughs>